Hey folks, this is Lindsay Bose with Bose Therapy Services. Um, I wanted to do a video on what my first session or my consultation sessions looked like. I've had a lot of people ask me that. And well, granted, this is not a question from the Ask the Therapist series. I, I wasn't given this question anonymously, but I've been asked enough that I thought it would be worthwhile to do a video. So um, I wanted to walk you through what would happen from the first time that we talk until the end of the first session, if that's um, just to, to clear up some of what that looks like. Um, so first you contact me in whatever way you feel comfortable, if that's phone, if that's email, or if that's through my website contact, um, whichever of those options is um, most comfortable for you. And then I'll respond in whatever way that you tell me is appropriate. That if you say you can give me a call or if you say you can send me an email, I'll do whichever one you ask. Um, then I ask at that point when I do get in contact with you, I ask if you want to do a consultation or a session or both. Um, so in a consultation, basically we do, um, I ask briefly why you, you sought me out, why it is that um, you were interested in therapy in the first place. And then I tell you hypothetically how I would go about working with you. And then after that, um, the rest of the 20 minutes is for you to ask any questions so you can make the most informed decision about what type of therapy you want and if the type of therapy that I offer is going to be helpful for you specifically. Um, so if at the end of the 20 minutes you decide, nope, don't want, you know, this isn't going to work. Um, I don't think this is going to be a good fit. That's totally fine. And then I will give you at least three referrals to other places that um, you might be interested in getting therapy from um, and then have you sign a form saying that we just aren't going to be working together and then I wish you the best and if you need anything in the future let me know. Um, if you do decide to continue working with me um, we can either go right into a therapy session or we can schedule a therapy session at that time um, which is also something we'll talk about on the phone. Um, so then if in the first session what will happen is um, either you'll bring forms and if you have a printer, I email you my, my new client forms um, and you can print them out at home, fill them out and bring them in, or you can arrive 20 minutes early and fill them out and I have them waiting for you in the, in the waiting room. Um, so then after, after that, you come in with your filled out forms. We go over again briefly why you're here. We have one more um, demographic or one more form to go over, not a demographic, it's a disclosure form where we go over my policies, um, cancellation policies, fees, um, HIPAA, all sorts, of just the stuff that needs to be covered. Um, so we can also cover fees in the 20 minute consultation. I want that to be a very transparent conversation. So whenever you want to have that conversation, we can. Um, then in the first session, I also go into a genogram, which is like a fancy family tree that gets into um, genetics, it gets into relationships, it gets into um, households and I mean anything that's applicable to you. So it could be spiritual, it could be immigration, it could be um, divorce and remarrying and or, or you know we came from completely different backgrounds and this is you know it's, it depends on each family. So I do a genogram um, of you. If you're coming with someone else I, I do the genogram for both of you together and then I start to figure out what the problem is. So I think a lot of times, especially in first sessions, when you go to see a mental health professional, they ask what's wrong with you. Like those are, that's sort of the tone of the, a lot of the questions. And I'd rather know what your experience is. I want to know what happened to you and how did you make it through these things? How, what has it been like for you to come to this place, to come to this point in your life? Um, and then from that, we can sort of, we start to figure out what the problem is because I refuse to believe that you are the problem. I just... I'm stubborn, you'll figure that out eventually. I refuse to believe that that's true, so I wanna figure out what the problem is. Um, so then after that, the last five minutes of the session are um, actually the payment and then scheduling for our next session and figuring out how often we'd like to work together. I prefer weekly at the beginning of, of therapy and then after um, you get the, more of a handle of the, the strategies and the, the tools that we work on and, and how to use what we talk about in therapy during the week, then we can go to every other week or once every three weeks or whatever works for your schedule. But um, I'd prefer to work with you once a week um, at the beginning of sessions. So hopefully that answered all of the questions um, about how you get forms and scheduling, um, where my office is and, and all of that. So um, if you do have any more questions, feel free to check out my website, um, bosetherapyservices.com. There's lots of, especially the FAQ, there's lots of um, questions on that page. And then 
yeah, if, I, if there's something that's not on there, send me an email or give me a phone call and I'll try to answer that for you. So have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself.